Okay, so uh, in this tutorial, it's pretty simple. We're just going to expand on our look command so that we can look at our own stats in the game. And so if you've got it looping through rooms and then looping through the lists within the rooms, uh, we're going to take a look and see if the user typed in more than one thing. And in this case, we're just going to look to see if they typed in, you know, the word self in the second position. Okay, so the user may at position one in the array would have another word. Okay, and so in this case it would be look and self is the only thing we're going to implement. And I figured it made sense to put a look command also inside of the PC class that will just print information about the PC every time that we call it. So let's take a look at that. Um, inside of uh, PC I've got a look method here and it just prints HP, HP, accuracy, accuracy. All right, and it just shows you how many hit points you have and how much accuracy you have. All right, and so uh, essentially if I run this, if I type look, it shows me, oh, okay, I got it. Well, that now it thinks my name is look. Uh, so I'm gonna type look, it shows me that. And if I type, give it two commands, two arguments, one argument, two positions in the command array, look self, it prints hit points 100, accuracy 75. Okay, so that's really all you need to do in this video is just check the second value um, of the command, and if there are two, it will in the second or the position at x1, you know, equals self. It calls PC look, which then prints information about the PC. Now, eventually, PC look will show you what items you're carrying. Um, as well as other information, but right now it's just printing uh, hit points and accuracy. So that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll probably start to maybe summon creatures. We'll see.